Hi, Father Brad. June 24, 2021. I am still finding little pockets of photos that I just had forgotten I've had, in, and I found some this last week from the 80s. I haven't seen since the 80s. And there was one little theme as I was scanning these, and I just do these in little bits and pieces of time that I have. Uh, I just found that I found three shots where I'm looking very pensive and deep in thought. And I think actually that that, that is a side of me. Maybe you've seen it before. However, uh, I just thought it was interesting that uh, I came across these and they're in quite different locations. Uh, this first one was uh, on the, the beach in Kenny Bunkport, Maine in the early 80s. And here I am just, I don't know what, thinking about why. Anyway, I guess I was thinking about that being the, the, the Bush second home or something, or maybe the first home. Anyway, so this is on, on the beach on the East Coast and uh, early 80s, I was uh, 25, 26, 27, somewhere in there. So then on the other side of the United States, on the Washington coast, here I am. This is uh, from 86. Here I am uh, sitting there on the beach. What's the, what's the name of that town? The town on the, I can't remember it now. Ocean Shores, at Ocean Shores, Washington. And so here I am deep in, in contemplation again on the beach. So actually the beach is a good place for me. I get a lot of thinking done. <laughs> so that's from 86. And then I have one that I found. And it's just so funny because I, I just kind of came upon these and I go, did all I do was just contemplate and stuff in the 80s? This is from uh, Signal Mountain, Tennessee, which is at Chattanooga. So here I am up on the, the mountains this time, thinking away, and I think I have um, my camera strap in, in my hand, but here I was uh, looking very uh, full of uh, thinking and ideas. And uh, probably what happened right after this picture was that uh, went down below to Chattanooga and went to the choo-choo and like doot doot for all I know. Because the choo-choo, you can't go to Chattanooga without checking out the choo-choo. So anyway, those are three photos that I've unearthed and are logged in. And uh, this week I, ba I back them up periodically as I scan them in. The count, when it says uh, they're co it's collecting the photos to, to send to the external drive, the count this week was 96,259. So, and I still have hundreds to go, as far as I know. Anyway, I kind of enjoy it, and I'm going to get them all organized, and uh, I'm going to uh, send them out to parties concerned, who I think appreci will appreciate getting them, uh, if I could just ever get done within a reasonable amount of time. So this week, remember uh, Father Nathan's uh, send-off on Sunday after the 10 a.m. Mass. If you haven't, if you're not attending that Mass, you know, please uh, feel free to, to come back uh, for the reception, 11-ish uh, or thereafter. And uh, we were having it, uh, we were thinking of originally having it outside. We're having it inside. You can spill outside from the social hall, but uh, I think it's supposed to be kind of toasty this weekend. So it, it can all be in air conditioning. So again, remember to uh, jot a note on a, a card or, or a letter um, to uh, leave for, for him to take with them as he goes. Uh, the other thing that I mentioned, I'm having all sorts of uh, interesting stories about getting something here for uh, the centerpiece of a project I've been working on for quite a long time, you know, and I think it's been about seven years. I hate to admit, but um, I wanted to put up photos of those 
from the Lewiston parishes who have given themselves in, in a consecrated religious life. And so I was collecting those photographs, uh, collecting them, getting them framed, getting them labeled, and I wanted to have a, a, a piece to, to put them all together. I've been trying to get that poor thing in the mail and it's gone, I don't know, there's a big long story. But anyway, hopefully it's on its way again and I can get that up and that'll be a really nice thing to inspire vocations and, and just as a way to honor those who have, uh, who have been from this area giving their lives uh, to the Lord uh, all these many years and years to come. Um, when you go to adoration, these, this is an example of some uh, handouts that are available to you. And so uh, this middle section is, the, is a passage from Insinu Hezu, which I've been giving you um, uh, little selections from all these many months. Now we're over, well over a year of doing these videos. And I just wanted to um, read to you this uh, selection from that book. This is actually um, the Irish monk who normally these uh, selections are in the voice of Christ to him. This is in his voice. Uh, writing uh, in his uh, diary. So he said, Yesterday the Lord told me that he was going to untie the latent powers of my priesthood for the good of souls and the glory of his name. He told me to bless, to bless much, not to be afraid of giving people my blessing and even to offer them my blessing. By the priestly blessing, the treasures of merciful goodness enclosed in his heart, capital H, his heart, are poured into the souls and about the persons of those who are blessed by the hands of the priest. So uh, one of the things that I, I will try to get to in the coming time is um, uh, uh, sharing with you uh, what what happens that uh, we can't see when we are giving human expression to what we can see. For example, uh, what what God is doing in a blessing from the priest's hands. Um, it's uh, got some layers underneath it, and that that's true for all of the things of the church. Um, we have to humanly express them and live them and then actualize them go you know as we move about in the world but there's a lot of spiritual stuff there all the time and it's uh, it's interesting to to be pulling that in uh, because basically that's the the the, the really uh, eternal thing that's happening to us but um, sometimes we don't call it to mind because we are just caught up only in what we see so what we don't see is also something to consider. So this is a little short today. Uh, some of you are going, yay! <laughs> but let me give you my blessing. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.